Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today we're talking Love is Blind, Season 3, Episode 8, The Perfect Fit. What are your thoughts on these couples? I'm so enjoying the show. This episode was a little slower, but still had some interesting parts. 10 days until these freaks marry each other. <laughs> no, seriously, they have 10 days to go. How crazy is that? We see Colleen doing ballet. So they're com- she's coming off a difficult night. I'm going to need more information. They keep doing this to us. The last episode, remember, she and Matt, Matt was like packing up his stuff, ready to go. But then today she's mad doing ballet, but like no more information than that. So I guess they're okay. I don't know. Um, It was, I don't know, good to see her do ballet, I guess. It was a different side of her. Still not the hugest fan, but she's okay. Um, I'm, I keep going back and forth. I like her better than Matt now. Not a fan of Matt. Okay. Let's go into Bartise. That's what I want to talk about. Bartise is blaming everything on Nancy. It's so hard to watch. You know, I wasn't a fan of Nancy at first. She's grown on me. Now I really like Nancy. I feel bad for talking smack about her at the beginning, but that giggly bubbly thing was just bugging me. But I really, I like her now. She seems like a sweet girl. I like her family. I don't know. The brothers were a little rough, but the mom's nice. And I like how hard she works and... He just uses everything against her always. It's like he can't admit that he's the one with the problem, um, you know, not being attracted to her or whatever, and instead says, well, the reason, you know, we're not physical right now is because all of your problems. You know, he's just like one of those douchebags. But um, he is saying that the issues they're having are more important than sex, which, okay, I hear it. Yes, that is true. But he's using every issue issue to to be a reason not to get physical with her and all she wants is physicality she or not all but she wants him to be physical with her like he was it sucks he cut it off and he keeps telling her he's not attracted to her so that's that's hard to hear I she's more patient than I am she must really love him and want him to work out because how could you stay with somebody like that I don't get it um she can do so much better than him all right, we go to, let's see, we kind of jumped around here. Where am I? It was Z and Cole. Z, um, he brings her flowers. And Z annoyed the piss out of me last episode. I think I've said that episode, but she did. Remember, she was just like not listening and trying to start a fight and feeling very insecure. But they were sweeter this episode. I don't know spoilers, so I'm just guessing. I honestly have no idea what I'm talking about. I promise I have not read ahead because it's not fun for me to watch. I'm just telling you, I feel like, maybe I'm wrong, they're showing the gushy parts of these two right now to hook us in, and they're not going to work out. They shouldn't work out, I don't think. I just don't think they're a good couple. Um, We see just a glimpse of Alexa and Brennan. I want to see more of them. They keep, like dangling them, but then we don't get to see much of them. But um, he's gone to meet her friends. It seems to go well. They seem to like him. I gotta say, Brennan's looking good here. Uh, Let's see. Um, Sorry, I just lost my spot. Okay, Alexa takes credit for this because she says that she dressed him tonight. And I'm saying, she did good. He looks really good there. Um, His hair is a little weird to me. If you see the back, it's a little strange. But there, he looks really good. I like that dark green on him. Okay, The funniest part of the scene is her friends seriously thought he was the camera guy. They're shocked that she's with him and says that's not her typical guy. But he says he's ready to say I do. He seems to make a good impression. We go to Colleen and Matt. Did I just say Molly? Colleen and Matt. So he's scared because of his past. Remember, they beat it into our heads that his ex-wife cheated on him. And it's terrible. It sounds like she maybe got pregnant because of the cheating. I don't know. It's terrible. Um... She's meeting his friends. Matt scares the bejesus out of me because he gets so mad. He seems like a nice guy, but he he just seems like an angry person. Um, So I'm saying, even though Colleen's not my favorite, Colleen, run away. Dance away. Um, She is meeting his friends. They call him Two Date Matt. His friends say he's an emotional guy and he cares. So I guess that's their way of saying he's a bastard. Um, Raven and SK's mom. So they go shopping. The idea being that, of course, SK and his family are from Nigeria 
and Raven's from America, so they're trying to blend the cultures. So she doesn't want to wear a Nigerian dress, totally understand that, but she's agreed to have this Nigerian headpiece, and it's just a way of like compromising and showing some culture. Now, during this, they talk to her about being respectful of the family name and that you need to humble yourself. Okay. She did not look happy at all. She, I say this all the time. He is such a nice guy. I actually really like SK. He's one of my favorite guys on here now. Um, Raven just doesn't seem to be that into him. So when they said that, it was just more reason to be like, eh. We see Nancy and Bartiz. We see a different side of them where they're taking dance classes and the spark seems to be back. She even says to camera, oh no, it's not yet. I guess after this, they start getting physical again. So she's happy. But I'm like, girl, if it went away that quickly, it's going to go away again. Um, he's saying the bare minimum and pretending like he wants to be with her. And then she gives him a big thank you for bearing your heart. So I think... I think she makes him feel good, so he likes her for that, but I don't think he's really into her. I think he's into himself. Z and Cole, she gives him a lock, and there's a really funny scene. It actually tricked me. They wanted to lock their initials on this bridge, and he he drops the lock in the water, and she freaks out. I was like, oh, God, here we go. It was a joke. He had an extra one in his pocket, so it's all good. They locked their initials on this bridge. He's super into this idea. She gave him the lock after... I don't know. They made up from that whole thing. Um, now things get interesting because his parents do not want to meet her until after they get married. So I totally understand that the parents didn't sign up for this. So I understand why there'd be reservations, but really you're not going to the wedding. Really? Um, he says, as long as you love me, all I can think of is Backstreet Boys, as long as you love me, I'm not going to say, um, <laughs> then they're going to move forward to the wedding day. Okay, good luck with that. Seven days to go and they go dress shopping. Can I just say hallelujah? Thank the Lord. Kept waiting for annoying Vanessa to pop out of these dresses or something or from under the table. She did not, luckily, because they're annoying <laughs> and there's no need for a host on the show. Maybe they got the memo this season because we've seen less and less of them and I'm okay with that. So this part honestly kind of drugged for me. We go back and forth between the girls trying on dresses, the boys getting fit, um, whatever fitted. I hate Colleen's outfit here. Can I just say that? I don't like those shoulders, but I do like her dress there. I thought that was really pretty. She's a ballet dancer. It kind of has a ballet vibe. I think it's really pretty on her. Um, you know, who's my favorite? Oh yeah. I love this too. He's so excited about this outfit. Um, can I say who my favorite dress is? My favorite dress is? Well, I liked Nancy second runner up. I thought she looked really pretty and happy. You know, who my first run, my first, whatever my winner, Alexa I actually loved her dress. I did not mean to get an unflattering photo. It's not great, but the dress itself is very pretty. I don't remember what you call that. It's been few years since I've been wedding dress shopping, but it's like that column dress or whatever. It's just, I thought she looked beautiful. Um, we go again, back and forth. Who I really felt for in this scene, two people. I felt for, who is it? Nancy's mom, because she was crying and you can tell she's just nervous that Bartis isn't going to go through this and he's going to break Nancy's heart. So that's an awful situation to be in. I also, even though I don't like Z. I felt for her because she doesn't have her family here. Oh, there she is in that beautiful dress. Um, she doesn't have her family here. Her sister is in England and she FaceTime and um, her stepmom came. I love her stepmom, by the way, the sweetest lady ever. And, you know, it's got to be hard. She was saying her mom's there in spirit, but I really did feel for Z. That's, that's a tough, it's a tough situation, right? to be trying on wedding dresses, but her stepmom seems lovely and it's really sweet that she took care of her since she was 13. So I'm glad she at least had that in her life. That's amazing. We go over to Raven and SK. They have seven days to go. And I'm telling you everything SK says to Raven pisses her off. He asks about the dress fitting and she gets pissy and cracks him and says, no, we're dress shopping. So she's struggling because she doesn't have family there. And remember, they're not into this situation at all. They don't support it. Well, 
he's struggling because he wants her family there. And he, I again, I know I'm an SK fan, apologist, whatever. And I love his mom. Um, so I think he's a good package. He's smart. He's funny. He's got a great mom. What's not to love? Um, and they're trying to be, I felt like, maybe I'm overthinking it. I felt like he was trying to be sweet with Raven, right? And he's trying to say, family's important to me. You know, my mom is just wondering how, how you feeling about all this because you're not going to have your family there. Well, she takes this and is like, you know, I don't know, you're you're pressuring me and we have fundamental differences on family and um, he's saying it's crucial for him to have his family's backing and she just doesn't, she doesn't have the same connection. I don't know what it is. It's just a different situation, I guess. And she kind of makes him feel bad because he keeps bringing up the family and he's sweet about it. And he's like, you know, I'm not going to throw away the happiness I found with you over this situation. But I keep thinking, yeah, this is not going to go well. I'm afraid she's going to break SK's heart and that will break my heart because he's a lovely guy. Hey, maybe Nancy and SK should get together. Have I already said that? I just think he's such a sweetheart, and I think Nancy is too. And again, I know she bugged me at the beginning, but I really do think she's at her core a nice person. And I don't know, maybe those two could be happy together because Bartise sucks and Raven kind of sucks. So that's my thoughts on this episode. I am dying to see what they do next and where they go with this. I hope you enjoyed my recap. I'm dying to know your thoughts on this and all the couples. Let me know in the comments below. If there's a show you're obsessed with, let me know that too because I love finding new shows. And if you want to further support, definitely check out Patreon, patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. Five bucks a month. You get access to my whole catalog. Plus, um, I'm working through Sex in the City episodes. Having a lot of fun there. I put out four videos a week. So, um, yeah. Definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.